Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this blue screen error that is B E D A I S Y dot S Y S. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to uninstall and reinstall BattleEye. So if you play a game and if any game has BattleEye anti cheat, then that may be a reason. If you if you don't play any games and if you don't have BattleEye, you can skip this step. You can follow the next step. But if you have BattleEye installed on your computer, then you can go to the game installation folder and check which game has BattleEye. So in my case, I will open. If you have uh, like game on Steam, you can open program files x86, then open the Steam folder, then open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. You will find the game over here. I have the game on Ubisoft Connect. So I will open Ubisoft, Ubisoft Launcher, Games, and this game has a BattleEye. So open BattleEye. Here you can see. So we will uninstall and reinstall BattleEye. So make a right click and then click on Run as Administrator. Click on Yes. And once that is done, you can make a right click on this Install BattleEye. Run as Administrator. Click on Yes. And then check. Or you can make a right click, then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. And then once the game is, once the battle eye is installed, you can go to the game and you can launch the game. If you have the game on Steam, launch the game from Steam. If you have the game on Ubisoft Connect, then wherever you have the game or Epic Games Launcher, wherever you have the game, you can launch the game. And when you launch the game, during the launch, it will reinstall battle eye and then you can check. Now, still you are receiving the error message. Then in that case, you, can, you may have to uninstall and reinstall the game. So you can go to Steam or Epic Games Launcher or Ubisoft, wherever you have the game. You can uninstall the game and then reinstall the game and then check. Now, still you are receiving this blue screen error. Then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to check for updates. So open Windows settings and then go to Windows update and then click on check for update. Now, once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. Make sure that you install all the updates over here and then restart your computer and then check. But still you're facing the problem. The next step is to disconnect all USB devices, all the external devices, except mouse and keyboard from your computer. So disconnect all the external devices, except mouse and keyboard, and then you can check also disconnect if you have additional controller connected to the computer. If you have joystick or controller connected, disconnect it and check. If you have any external devices such as quotas, wheels, pedals. So if you have these, any USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it and then check. Also disconnect multiple monitors. Close all the third party application and services which, which is running on the computer. So if you have any third party application running over here, you can make a right click and then click on quit. So make sure that you close all the third party application and then check. Also, if you have any third party services running in task manager, you can make a right click on the start menu and then open task manager. Now, if you have any third party application running, which you don't need it, um, you can just close it. So close all the third party application. You can make a right click and then click on end task and then you can check. Now, the next step is to close all the overclocking applications. So if you have any overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner, or any other overclocking application, close it. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then check. Next step is to perform clean boot. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then, then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then check. Next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for Nvidia. So I'm just showing for NVIDIA. If you have AMD card, you can go to AMD website. Uh, so for NVIDIA, you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. 
Open this link in a browser. It will take you to NVIDIA website. Select your product type. In my case, it's GeForce. Select your product series. Make sure that you select your product series. In my case, it's 30 series. Select your graphic card. This is my graphic card. So make sure that you select your graphic card and then select Windows 11 over here. Click on search and whichever is the latest driver, you will see it over here. So just click on search and then click on download. And then click on download once again and let the download complete. So run this exe file. Now click on yes to allow and then click on OK. Now click on agree and continue and then select custom option. Make sure that you select custom over here and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next. Now it will first of all it will uninstall the previous version of a graphic driver and then it will do a clean installation of the latest graphic driver. Once this is complete let the process complete then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check. Now if you have Intel graphic card or Intel processor in that case you can use Intel driver and support assistant to update your system drivers. Now for this you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will uh, if Intel driver and support assistant is not installed in that case you will see download option. So download Intel driver and support assistant and then launch Intel driver and support assistant and then if there is any update over here it will give an option to download. So you can click on download all and once the download is complete, once the installation is complete, now it will give you an option to install. So you can click on install all, click on yes to allow and then let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, uh, let me install it first. Yeah, so let it install and once the installation, what, once all the installation are complete, you restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check but still you're facing the problem. The next step is to run SFC or DISM command. Now for this type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Always open command prompt as an administrator. It is important. Now copy the first command. This command is provided in the video description. Paste it over here, hit the enter key and let the scan complete. Once the scan is 100% complete, this will be 100% complete. Once this is done, you can copy the second command and then run this second command. And you can paste it on the same window. Once this is 100% complete, you can run the second command. And once the second scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. But still you're facing the problem. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 
1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM, total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 49152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to roll back graphics driver. Sometimes the latest driver sometimes causes problems. So in that case, you can roll back to the previous version. So you can make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager. Now over here, you can expand display adapter. Now to roll back Intel graphic card driver, you can make a right click on Intel and then go to properties, go to driver tab. Now if roll back driver is highlighted over here, in my case, this option is grayed out. If this option is grayed out, you don't have to do it. If it is highlighted, roll back driver is highlighted, click on roll back driver. Once the process is complete, restart your computer and then check. Now do the same thing for NVIDIA or AMD. So if you have AMD or NVIDIA, make a right click and then click on properties and then you can go to driver tab. And again, if you see the rollback driver highlighted, if not highlighted, you can skip this step. If highlighted, click on rollback driver. Once that is done, restart your computer and then check. Now still you're facing the problem. Next step is to uninstall recently installed Windows update. Sometimes after installing the latest update on your computer, you face the problem. So in that case, you can uninstall the recently installed update. So you can go to start menu, go to settings, go to Windows update and then scroll down. Uh, click on update history and then scroll down. You will see uninstall update and over here, whichever is the latest update install on your computer. In my case, this is the latest one. So whichever is latest, you can just click on uninstall over here. Click on uninstall and then click on uninstall and let the uninstall complete. Once the uninstall is complete, you can restart your computer and then you can check. Still you're facing the problem. The next step is to turn off fast startup. Now for this type in control panel in window search box and then click on control panel. Now go to hardware and sound and then go to power options and then click on choose what power button does and then click on change settings that are currently unavailable. And if turn on fast startup is checked, you can uncheck this box, save changes and then restart your computer and then check. You can always put a check on fast startup whenever you want. Now the next step is to update system BIOS. Now, if nothing is working, you can uh, go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, you can go to Dell website. If you have a Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo website. If you have HP computer, go to HP. If you have Asus, Acer, whichever uh, computer you have, you can go to your system manufacturer website. Now I'm showing for Dell. Um, this is just an example. If you have HP computer, go to HP. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. Whichever brand you have, you can go to Dell. Uh, and the, you can go to that particular website, your brand website. Now, this is just an example, uh, just to show you how to update your system BIOS. So you can you can select your computer on your system manufacturer website. You can select your computer. Now, once you select your computer, you can go to drivers and download, and you can find the latest BIOS update available. So this is just an example. So you can select the BIOS, find the latest BIOS update available, and then click on download, and then you can update your system BIOS. Now, before you update the system BIOS, in case of laptop, make sure 
battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. Now during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then check. Now next step is to perform system restore. Sometimes this takes care of the problem. So you can perform system restore, type in system restore in Windows search box and then click on create restore point and then click on system restore over here and then click on next and then if you see the option which says uh, choose recommended so you have to choose recommended and then click on next and then you have to select the date and time on which date you were not receiving the you were not facing the problem you're not receiving the error so suppose you started facing blue screen problem today then you can you can uh, select the date and time for yesterday or maybe day before yesterday so you have to select the date and time on which date you are not facing the problem so select that date and time and then click on next and then click on finish now the system restore will take some time and once that is complete now you can check next step is to update your windows using media creation tool go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer now if nothing works the last step is to do a clean installation of your windows 11 using usb flash drive now before you do a clean installation let me inform you that performing a clean install of windows 11 using flash drive will result in loss of data and application so please back up your computer data before performing a clean install installation so to perform a clean installation you can watch this uh, video i made a separate video on how to perform a clean installation using usb flash drive so you can open this link and then here you can see I have made a separate video on how to install Windows 11 using USB flash drive. You can follow the instruction over here and then go for clean installation. And after the clean installation, you have to set up your computer once again. You have to start everything from scratch and then you can check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of this error code. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.